Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet the sugar cookie scarf. This is a really beautiful neutral color scarf, although you can crochet it in any color you like. And it's kind of like a chunky lace sequence. We have here um, groups of double crochet stitches, and then they're kind of worked into these V stitches. So it creates kind of like a chunky, lacy, sort of lattice look. And it's very cozy and lofty and warm as well. The finished scarf measures about nine and a half inches wide and it's about 55 inches long. For this project, you'll need a measuring tape or roller to get the desired length of your scarf, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle. Now you'll need a larger tapestry needle because we'll be working with bulky yarn. You'll also need a nine millimeter crochet hook and your yarn. I'm gonna be using two skeins of Lion Brand's Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This is the Wool Ease Thick and Quick in the solids. Um, and the colorway is called Fisherman, in case you would like to replicate this uh, particular color. If you do need to substitute yarn, just look for a yarn that on the yarn label has the recommended hook size of a nine millimeter hook, like the one we'll be using for this project. So let's get started. To begin our scarf, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. Next, we'll make our starting chain. Our starting chain has 21 chains. If you want to change the width of your scarf to make it narrower or wider, it is a multiple of four plus one, just as a side note. But our scarf will have 21 chains. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So here is our starting chain. It's gonna make a nice wide scarf. This is nice and lofty and bulky. So it'll make a nice wide scarf. Okay, so let's begin row one. For row one, we're going to work um, in the sixth chain from the hook. So this loop here does not count. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this chain right here, we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that chain, okay? So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops on your hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook. Then chain two, one, two, then in that same chain, work a double crochet. Okay, that'll give us this nice little V. Okay, then we're going to skip three chains. So one, two, three, skip those chains. And then in the chain after that, we're going to do the same thing. So double crochet. Let me get some more yarn. There we go. Double crochet, then chain two, one, two, then work another double crochet all in that same chain. Okay, so we have another V on our row here. Okay, so we're just gonna be repeating this all the way across. So skip three chains, one, two, three, in the chain after that, do the same thing. Double crochet, chain two, one and two, and then double crochet all in that same chain. Okay, so it'll look like that. Next, skip three more chains, one, two, three. In the chain after that, work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, same thing as before. So double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Okay, then we're gonna finish up our row here. Just gonna get some more yarn. My yarn ball kind of ran off here. 
Okay, so then to finish up the row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip two chains. We have three chains remaining, so we're gonna skip two, one, two, and in this very last chain, we're going to work a double crochet to finish off row one, okay? So our row one looks kind of like this. You should have one, two, three, four of these Vs established, okay? Plus this double crochet at the end of the row. So let's move on to row two. For row two, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn our work. Next, in this center of this V that we did in the previous row, we're going to work four double crochets right into that V or that chain two space. If you go in the FiberFlex blog where the written pattern is, I refer to that as the chain two space. So right in the space, we'll work four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it'll look like this. We're just building on top of what we've done in the previous row. Okay, so let's move on to this next, let me get some more yarn here. When you do these bulky yarn projects, you go through these yarn balls really, really quickly because you're using lots of yarn. Okay, so next we're just gonna repeat the same thing. So look for the next V you come to and work four double crochets into the center of that V as well. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. Go on to the next V in that chain two space, work four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, shaping up nicely. Our stitch pattern is starting to emerge. So then go into the next V. This is the last V of the row. So work four double crochets into that V, into that chain two space. Same way we've been doing on this row. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is in this turning chain space, we're going to work a double crochet just to finish off that row, right in the turning chain space. Okay, so your scarf will look like this so far. So let's move on to round three, or row three rather. Okay, for row three, we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four and turn our work. Now if you notice before we did a chain three and turned for previous rows of this pattern but for this one this is going to count as one of our double crochets and one of the chains so that's why we have an extra chain for this one. So then what we're going to do is right in this first space you come to work a double crochet. Just like that. Okay, so it'll look kind of like that, okay? It'll look like one of the Vs that we're trying to mimic the look of. So next, what we're gonna do is skip over these four double crochets we worked in the previous row, and then in the next group, so you have two groups here, right in the space in between these groups, we're going to work one of these Vs, okay? So go one double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then one double crochet right into that same space in between those, those two groups here. See, so you can see how we made it a V, okay? Skip over this group of four double crochets, and in the space in between the next ones, we're gonna do the same thing. One double crochet, 
and then chain two. One, two, then one double crochet. All in that same space, again, in between those groups. And you can kind of see how this stitch pattern is emerging even more. Okay, do the same thing for the next space in between these two groups. We'll work another V. So double crochet, chain two, one and two, and then double crochet into that same space to create that V. So it'll look kind of like that. Okay, so then in this turning chain space right here, right in that space, we're going to do a double crochet and then a chain one, not a chain two like we did before, but a chain one, and then a double crochet right into that turning chain space. Okay, so it looks very, very nice. Okay, so row three is complete. Now we're ready to begin row four. For row four, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn our work. Then, we're just gonna get, just get everything straightened out here. In this first space here, we're going to work two double crochets into this first space that we created from the previous row. So one, and two, just like that. Then we're going to skip over and then in this chain two space from the previous row, the center of this V, we're going to work four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it's kind of mimicking what we did back here. Okay, so next, the next V we come to, we'll just do the same thing. Four double crochet into the center of that V. So one, two, three, and four. Next V, we'll do the same thing. Four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay, to finish the row, we're going to work, get some more yarn, in this turning chain space from the previous row right here at the end, we're going to work three double crochets right into that turning chain space. So one, two, and three. Okay, so row four is complete. Looks very, very pretty. Very, has a little bit of uh, a solid feel, but also a little bit of an open lacy feel as well. It's kind of a nice combination. So our row five is our last row of our pattern repeat. Okay, so for row five, what we're gonna do is chain three, one, two, and three, and turn our work. Then we're going to work the first space we come to, so it's pretty solid right here, then we have a little space and then the next group begins. So in this space right here, we're going to work a double crochet, we're gonna create a V. So we're gonna work a double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then a double crochet. And that's gonna create a V right into that space. Same look that we have in previous rows, okay? Next, we're going to skip over this group here and then work the same thing, work another V into that space in between these groups. So double crochet, one double crochet, and then chain two, and then a double crochet, right into the same space there. 
Okay, just like that. Skip over this group of four double crochets and in that next space, work another V. So double crochet, chain two, one and two, and then a double crochet, all in that same space. Okay, just like that. Then we have one more space here. So skip over this group of four, and in that space there, we're gonna work another V stitch. Okay, so double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Okay, so we have a row of V's all the way across. So to finish off row five, this turning chain space that we created in the previous row, just work a double crochet right into that turning chain space. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my hook for just a moment. So we've worked, I'm just gonna straighten everything out so we can see it. So we worked a full pattern repeat of our scarf. So I just wanted to show you how nice everything looks. Looks very, very pretty in this yarn especially too. And um, so to finish your scarf, what you're gonna do is you can use your tape measure to help get the length that you want. But to finish your scarf, you're gonna repeat rows two through five over and over and over again to finish the scarf pattern. So again, repeat rows two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and so forth and so on. So I just wanted to show you really quickly the width of our scarf is about nine and a half inches right now. So just to give you an idea of the width of the scarf. And then for the length, I often get questions about, um, very, very often people ask me, how long should I make a scarf? What's the best length for a scarf? The short answer is it's really up to you. But what I like to do is some people like to, you have to take this into consideration. Some people like to wear their scarf really, really long and wrap it many times around the neck. So you'll wanna make it very, very long and you need, may need to add more than two skeins to your scarf. What I like to do is crochet a scarf or knit a scarf so that it goes from your hip, goes all the way around your neck and then back down to the other hip. That's a really nice length. That's just the length that I prefer. Some people like a shorter scarf uh, some people like to sew the ends together and make an infinity scarf so it doesn't come off. It kind of stays put. So it's really up to you. I like to use the hip to hip measurement for mine. So anyway, just keep repeating rows two through five until the scarf is as long as you would like it to be. So I'm gonna keep working rows two through five and then we're gonna rejoin towards the end of the scarf and I'm gonna show you how to finish it off and how to weave in the ends and um, have a finished beautiful scarf. Okay, so I'm just working that very last stitch of the scarf, that last double crochet. So amazingly, I only have this tiny little tail left. So when you're finished, go ahead and fasten off your yarn and then you'll want to weave in your ends. So I have here my tapestry needle. I'm just gonna go ahead and thread that in. Just like that. And then you can just go in one direction. And then come back in the other direction with your needle. and then you're all finished. So if you have any other tails, I went in um, and already wove the other tails in that I had, but if you have any other tails, just weave those in as well. So our scarf is totally complete. Here it is, it looks wonderful. It's nice and chunky and the stitches look really beautiful. So that is how you crochet the sugar cookie scarf. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.